Hello and good evening and welcome back to my workbench. Tonight on my ramble through electrical equipment I'd like to have a look at the Mega TPT320 voltage tester. Uh, much the same as all the others in this sort of range I think. Let's have a quick delve into the box which of course will go away. Quite a thick instruction manual in, in all the languages under the sun for the looks of it. That will go away. Uh, fairly standard LED setup, 12 volt, 2450, 120, 230, 400, 690. We have our audible signal, have a voltage let me get in a little bit closer. Voltage indicator, continuity indicator, and our phase rotation left and right. So this is specified as being a 12 volt to 690 volt AC DC LED display. Uh, single test probe mode, which we'll indicate in a minute. Um, two pole. Phase rotation, these are marked up L1, L2. Uh, this will give you a clockwise and anti clockwise um, indication on here. Uh, probe leads, quite a lofty 1.2 meters. Uh, probes are fixed, so when this lead breaks, it's done. Same here, much as the same as a lot with these for this price range. Probes are fixed, so if you drop them and break them, it's going in the bin, which would be an, a shame because this is going to be 55, 65 quid's worth. So it, it wants to be treated with a little care, I think. Um, all the standard specifications that we would expect from this measurement category uh, four 600 volts for Cat 3, it's a thousand volts. Uh, this one's got a continuity check, it says of uh, two, uh, 270 kilo ohms, although in the specification blurb it does say 500. Um, now we have the indicator, audible indicator plus the RX doesn't give you a indication of how the how uh, what resistance continuity is so um, if I try it on there no I would need a piece of wire to test that on to see whether it came up with anything uh, probe tips GS38 caps uh, as with a lot of the others uh, 12 15 mil of pointy steel which you're probably going to need I don't know I don't know whether you'd get that in a ceiling rose uh, and for some reason these guys are sold with euro tips which now don't give you a small shiny point they give you a big fat shiny end um, however that may make it easier for using my Martindale PD440 so let's see yeah it does it does give us a horrible bit of shiny copper that shiny chrome on the tip left going so single pole is actually indi indicating continuity not voltage double pole we get a voltage 488 volts 400 LEDs lit plus a uh, left-hand rotation indicator, which isn't an awful lot of use. Um, yeah, we don't get anything more on that. So back to the Q-Tech, Q-Check R2. <clears throat> Predominantly used for checking your R2, obviously. Let's prop him up there. I can get him in there, but can I get his friend in with him? I can. Horrible steel bits showing again. 241 volts illuminated to 230 and a voltage warning indication if I remove that 
I get a voltage indicator. So although this says it's AC, it's doing something different to actually testing on mains. So it will be something to do with the DC output on that, I suspect. Uh, let's get rid of the battery. But if I pop the battery out, what do we get? Single pole, nothing. Double pole. I get no buzzer and I get a little warning symbol. Whereas if you remember the dialogue that I did earlier, the DL6790, uh, that gave me full scale LED plus a reading on the LCD screen, as did the TIS8490 uh, that I did. So um, already those two are going ahead of us, uh, are going ahead of the Mega, and considering that the TIS is considerably more expensive than the uh, than the dialogue that's looking a pretty strong contender uh, single pole nothing double pole Get him in there on my q -Tech tester Again on there. I'm only getting a tiny little indicator Which for me Isn't a lot of good don't like that Don't like that setup at all. I much prefer the dialogue one <coughs> TIS um, can be given the market almost twice the price of the dialog tester. That doesn't go in there, that's annoying. That goes in there. They go back on there. They go somewhere. I forget which way round. We'll try it that way round. If it doesn't work in a minute, I'll know I've got it the wrong way around. <clears throat> I have to go back into the. So no, Richard's got the batteries in the wrong way around. Didn't check carefully enough when I took them out. So there you go, Mega. If you like Mega, then you'll probably be happy with that. If you don't, then I would certainly have a look at Dialog, the DL uh, sixty-seven ninety or the TIS, both very good units um, around this cost point, maybe a little bit more expensive. Uh, there you go, thank you very much and uh, I'll speak to you later, bye.